Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Joan Suds and Soaps. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a black and white soap I wanted to try. Um, never done one, so I want to see how that turns out. Okay, now what I have here is between 12 and 16 ounces of goat's milk suspended base. And this here is the olive oil soap suspended base. And this here is a, almost 16 ounces right here. Now I did go ahead and put a teaspoon of silver glitter um, already in this and the color I'm going to be using is black because we're going to keep this white the same and I'm going to have a portion that the clear will be this, just clear so the only color we're going to be introducing today is this black pretty black for a black and then I have 10 mls of lavender fragrance oil right here also I'm going to be using my fondant mat I love these and this has like bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this down. This, this mold is actually about a pound and a half mold. Okay, so I'm going to want to line it up real good. And okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to microwave these 30 seconds at a time. I'm going to take them out, stir them. Um, try and get all these uh, clumps manually out because you don't want to overheat your soap. Usually if you go between, uh, some manufacturers is actually 150, but 160 or above, um, you're really running the risk of overheating your soap. And what that will do is that will uh, discolor it and it will change the smell. Okay, so we're going to be back, I'm going to say, in about 10 minutes. Okay, while that's melting down, I'm going to go ahead and make my color. Okay. Now I'm going to add a few squirts of alcohol. That's going to really uh, help to incorporate the black. Okay, so for right now, we're going to, yeah, I'm stuck with this black. This will be good, I think. Okay, but like I said, when that's done melting, in about 10 minutes, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. That did take about uh, about 10 minutes on medium uh, heat. Still have a couple clumps. I'm going to try and manually stir these out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Pour the fragrance oil just in the black. I don't think this will discolor, but not really sure. Actually, going to make that a little bit darker. Spray some rubbing alcohol. That helps the uh, mica to incorporate with the soap better. Okay, I think that's good. It's almost like a black, silvery, shimmery color. That's excellent. Now, let me go ahead and check the temp. Okay, that's at 120. That's excellent. See where our white's at? 129. Check this one more time. That's 127. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring. I generally like to pour in the 130s. Now, I did not add the fragrance oil to this clear because I don't want it to discolor. Okay, so let me spray my mold again. Now I'm going to go in with the black. Go back in with the white. Now I'm going to go in with the clear.
colors are staying separate, which is good. Okay, now we're going to do some clear. Some more white. I'm going with the black. And then the rest, I'm going to put the clear on top. Okay, we are filled to the brim there. Loving the way it looks. Um, I'm going to let this set, I would say, a good two, three hours. Um, and then we'll come back at that point and then we'll unmold it and then we'll um, cut it. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. Now this pink part is still the mold, the impression mat. And it does glow in the dark. I just never can seem to pick that up. I like the way it looked. Okay, so how I'm going to get this impression mat out is just going to gently don't want to take a lot off. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Okay. So I like the silicone. It just simply is that easy to come out of the mold. It's neat. Not sure yet if I'll keep these. We'll have to see. So I'm definitely going to put some silver glitter and some alcohol um, in a little cup, and I'll be right back, and I'm just going to brush lightly the top of it. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I went ahead and put some glitter with a few sprays of alcohol. And I'm just going to lightly brush the top. I think it has too much alcohol in it. I wanted it maybe a little bit thicker. So one of two things, because I don't want it so thin, I can either let it set and let the alcohol evaporate and it will naturally just thicken up or I can add some of the some more glitter. So I think I'm going to add some more glitter and we'll be right back. Okay, I added about a half a teaspoon more glitter. It's still pretty fluid, but I'm just going to go ahead anyway. It naturally will thicken upon setting. Oops.
And then what I'm going to do when I'm done, I want to mix it up too again because the glitter will separate from the alcohol if, you know, you just let it sit. Yeah, it's still a little bit too thin. But I think this will be enough though. You don't want you don't want too much either, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this in front of the fan um, for a good 20 minutes or so, and then we'll be back for the cut. Okay, we're back. What I'm doing is, um, I didn't like these as much. I, I typically take them off, these edges. So you can see where I took them on this one side where I took it off. Okay, so what I do, I'm gonna do this side now. I take a paring knife and I hold on to it with this napkin because it's the fingerprints make it dull. A lot of people wear gloves. I think it's for me it's harder to work in gloves. Okay, that's not going to want to go. Don't want to take too much. Okay, let's get this piece off. It's pretty, that's just the um, clear, but it has the glow in the dark and the silver glitter in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the edge And I'm just going to kind of even it out as much as I can. Okay, so that's the one side. I'm going to trim this up too here. Okay, so same thing, what I'm going to do, and you know, the only reason I'm having to do this is because I used um, this impression mat, this fondant mat. One little spot here. Gonna be interesting how this is gonna look, especially with that clear. Which I anticipate is gonna be more like a gray because it does have that silver glitter. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures um, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, we're back. If you guys could do me a favor and press the like button, I'd appreciate that. 
if you did enjoy this video. Okay. Really loving the way this turned out. And there's one side. But these impression mats are really a nice way to um, add some texture. Probably my favorite piece of it. Very pretty. Okay, two more. Okay, and the last one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please press the like button and comment down below and become a subscriber. Once you become a subscriber, you can hit that notification bell and you'll be notified uh, when I do release videos. Thanks so much and have a great day.